Hello there everybody, my name is Michael, and today I am playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door for the Nintendo GameCube. I am in Chapter 2, The Great Boggly Tree, and I have just located all 101 punies. So let's continue the adventure. Basically, we have to get back to the area we were in before we found the key. The key which unlocked the uh, area where the punies were being held. So let's just backtrack to that area as quickly as possible. Of course, now that I've been through all these rooms before and I've fought all the enemies, the rooms are just empty and kind of boring, so... There's not much to say, just get through the rooms as quickly as possible. Alright, so here is where we were. Whoa, 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 did not mean to fall down to the ground there. Let's try that again. Here is where we were. Over here to the right was where we found the key. And now that we have all the punies, we can go to the left. Now, punies are afraid of spiders. You'll notice that they're running away because there's a spider there, so you should probably fight the spider before trying to take the punies through this area. I basically discovered a trick that you can use with coops. I did it there. Let me see if I can explain. I'm not sure if it's a trick or not, but what you're supposed to do with coops is um, move the control stick all the way to the left, just like this. Move it left, wait for the thing to appear in that circle. So basically what I do instead of doing that is I just never move the control stick to the left. Oh, and I can't attack because there are no enemies. Um, let's just appeal and bring that enemy back down so I can show you what I'm talking about. Come back down, enemy. Come back down. Oh, well, the audience member killed the enemy for me. Oh, but I wanted to show off my fancy attack. Um, okay, uh, I guess that we'll have to wait for the next battle. Oh, hey! Item, very nice. Um, that's a badge. Okay, here's the next battle. Okay, now I'm gonna show off the attack. Instead of um, holding it all the way left, I'm just not going to hold it left at all, and then just do this. Just move it to the right a little, little, little bit. That's all. So that way, um, it's a time saver. As, as you can see, I don't have to wait for the thing to go all the way to the right and back to the left. I just get it at the beginning. Just take an extra second. Bam. So yeah, okay. That's something new I just found out. Pretty cool. It works just as well as doing the normal thing. Just, just a little tap to the left rather than holding it all the way to the left. The enemies keep attacking Koops, even though Koops clearly cannot be hurt by them. These enemies are not very smart. Alrighty everybody, so there you go. Those are all the enemies in the room. That's all my, um, that's my fancy technique for fighting enemies now. 
we can use Flurry over here, I think, to find a hidden area. It's a hidden shop where you can buy things. What's this? Somebody hidden? Oh, hey, it's Jabby! Jabble! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, I was just saying in the previous video how we were not going to follow this plot line. Wow. I didn't know this character was actually in this game. Fine, let's leave him alone. Okay, so Jabble has joined our party. Is this useful? Is this good? Where are the other punies? I seem to have lost about 50 punies. Wait, why were they just standing around there? Punies. What's wrong with you guys? Hey, star piece. Nice. Okay, I'm still missing three punies. This is the part of the challenge, which is really just annoying. Punies disappear and then you never find them again. There they are. So maybe Jabble will help us win this Jabby battle. Wow, I'm discovering all sorts of new things in this game. I discovered the new way to attack, I discovered this Jabble character. Oh, wait, never mind. It looks like, um, the battle is still continuing. This battle is basically the reason why you had to go back and get all 100, uh, punies. You can't win this battle with just 10 punies. That's just crazy talk. Alrighty. So let's continue. Uh oh, more enemies. Um, let's get rid of what's her face? Flurry because I think she's rather useless. Let's try out my brand new attack technique. Alright, very nice. That was effective. I think we have a star piece right over there. Aw, oh, man. I was kind of hoping to dodge that enemy. Okay, Koops, you're up. Just kill them all in one blow, okay? Wow, Koops does love his breakdancing. He's doing breakdancing moves all over the place. Well, you know, Koops is... He is, um... How am I gonna put this? He might be a little bit awkward, but his moves are funky fresh. Oh, oh no, this is not good. We are trapped. Uh-huh. What? What just happened? <laughs> Man, you guys are dense. Really little trap, huh? And boy, did you bite on it. I knew it was a great idea, but seeing you fall for it just really gives me a warm fuzzy. <laughs> Talk about complete idiots. You guys are so dumb, it hurts. Anyway, with you guys out of the picture, I could take my time finding that crystal star. <laughs> yeah. Mario, what can we do? We, we have to find a way out of here. But what can we do? Well, we can just slip through the bars here. Um... 
I guess the punies can't slip through the bars, though. You know, if they turn sideways, they could easily slip through the bars. I don't know what they're thinking. Ooh, and we have a puzzle. More star pieces. They like to hide them behind the pipes, I've noticed. I'll have to, you know, try to go behind every single pipe in this dungeon. Okay, so the sequence is Sun, Moon, Puny, Star. Sun, Moon, Puny, Star. Okay, I'm gonna take back my Puny Orb. Thank you. See you later, Punies. And we have this extra group of punies. Uh, they're just fine. They're they're just hanging around. Oh, I'm gonna have to do something about those punies, aren't I? Um, hmm. Oh well. What we're doing now is backtracking. Yes, more backtracking. We're backtracking to the same area I was backtracking to at the beginning of this video. The room where you found the key to the cage with all the punies. It's it's this one over here to the right. Just go over here and let's see if I can remember the sequence. Sun, moon... No sun, moon, puny, and star. But it's not a moon. Um, there we go. I kind of like how these things all roll apart in different directions. It's a, it's a nice little touch. And it gives us access to this super secret hidden area. That's a big treasure chest. The Tunis must have left it. What could it be, you think? Well, only one way to find out, am I right? Let's open the treasure chest. Actually, let me see if there's anything hidden here. Is there... This seems like a great place for hiding a star piece. Um, but I don't see any star pieces. Instead, I see boots! Super boots! Check them out, guys! We have blue boots. Although, to be honest, it looks like Mario is still wearing his normal brown boots. Hey, 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 it's Toadette. Toadette, everybody. I think they put her in the Mario Kart game so she could be Toad's girlfriend, even though she is totally not Toad's girlfriend. I mean, she's not in any scenes with Toad because Toad isn't in this game. Oh well, Toadette is cool. She shows us how to use a bunch of new moves. Just press A in midair. Let's do it one more time. Alright, way to go, Toadette! It looks like she enjoys finishing her sentences with a heart. She's just full of love and exclamation points. That's it! You got it! You can use the spin jump in battle, too! Give it a try! Well, I hope to see you again soon! Good luck on your adventure! That's what her voice sounds like. She, she has to have, like, you know, a really high-energy voice. Way to go, Toadette. And like she said, we can break holes in the floor. Just like that. Let's get this charge thing right over here. That's a nice... That's a very nice badge, actually. And I think that's it. Oh no, all the punies are stuck here. Because punies can't jump, so they're they're stuck there forever, aren't they? Except for that one. Wait a minute. Madam Flurry. Madam Flurry. Brilliant, brilliant, good, good. For a second there I thought I was stuck, but I'm not. 